Interlopers and Intruders in the stable graph in the uh, stable Xeno. Hello, I guess. Some, some differentiality. Yeah, wow. Let's get some. Y'all go. Let's get some craziness as we go on to Gen Dill. Which is a very <laughs> for the New York umpteenth <laughs> time. Very New York matchup right now oh, for yeah. uh, fighting for a spot in Grants. Yep. And Dill dominating the scene. Yeah. Good stuff on Dill to play to play to how Jen wasn't. Like Jen was very focused on Gyro. It's like I'm not gonna let this go. Like this gyro is mine. And she's like, alright, I'm gonna beat you up then. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you up <laughs> with my little robot. It's hands. like if you're gonna hold on to this gyro, then you better know how to do the aerials. Yep. Else I'm gonna beat you up. <laughs> and it's it's it's, it's, it's like the opposite of a kid like like Diddy Kong, where you see right. the banana, they don't know what to do for a little bit. But uh, someone like Dill, see Rob, they have so many tools Ooh. in their arsenal that they get killed at with a down smash. But they have so many tools in their arsenal where they can actually adapt to having no gyro for a little bit. You know, they have lasers and they have, uh, of course, the, their throws and up tilts and up tilts. Things like that that are just so good for Rob in general. That gyro isn't too much of a breaking factor if it is isn't for a living amount of time. But what's definitely a breaking factor is the fact that uh, Rob is, wow, uh, uh, you know, sizable and can kind of get Size. overwhelmed by uh, some of Jen's quicker pacing. As once Jen's starting to pick up, get those long dashes forward, get into Dill's face, and force her to. Uh, effectively guess in order to get at disadvantage. That's one because of the that's only why you, characters if who you can go challenge high, that. If you go oh. high like that, you can get challenged and get killed by Palutena's crazy up air, so you're forced to guess in more horizontal scenarios outside of Rob's Nair, and things get dangerous. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I, and I was just saying, right now, uh, they were just with an up smash, because Jen is kind of maneuvered beautifully around the entire hitbox of it. But... Like we say, you know, typically most of the roster cannot challenge Dill when you are able to recover that high or just be safe in the air. But Jen's up air, double up air, or double jump into up air, will likely catch you either right in the middle or right in the sides. You know, that's a big-ish hitbox. And Rob, Robert is a little bit sizable. I mean, like yeah. you said, a little bit sizable, a little bit big. And Jen is using this, uh, the advantage of probably being faster, having a better, like, a really good nair, really good arrows in general. Then Rob uh -huh. is beautiful, and using the gyro <laughs> against Dill as well, oh and to another Lord. back air. Like, hello? That was, that was Jen doing Jen things. And that's what I mean when, like, when watching Jen play, and watching Jen play when they want to play, as oxymoronic as that sounds. Uh, when Jen is, is started feeling the vibe of like, yeah, I want to grind, I want to get better, I want to start like opening up my kit, maybe even picking up secondaries, you get to see the neutral that they play, the high tempo into and the high tempo and stage control that they exude, the speed at which they can go up and down, mixing in fastball super well, yep. and the bravery of which they're like, yeah, I'm going to use gyro in order to get these extensions. I'm going to challenge you where you think you can't be challenged and get away with it because I'm just playing that good. And round start, explosive flame 47, the Palutena 50 comes in and Almost a whole lot more. Yeah, no, Jen has not gotten a single hit on himself, and Dill is struggling. You know, now they can't do. No, she knows that she can't do her her recovery up on the stage. She knows she can't do too many uh like of the same ledge jump options. And Lily, the front, the first time she's ripping a little bit off uh off Dill and forcing her to go a little bit back. Just a lot of just little things with Paula that are just very difficult to have to Ooh. deal with. In general, with, the, with, with like Rob, who's much slower, has to actually come in close and kind of pump you a little bit and retreat with gyro or laser whenever they can. You know, Paulo doesn't play that. Paulo has, of course, a reflector. We don't really see that often. We have a reflector, we have a counter, we have, you know, the great aerials as well and faster, more pressure. It's just a lot of things going on at once. And like you're seeing right now, in fact. Yeah, that's why Dill's going through a stage like this, right? She's trying to control the tempo, keep things keep things under control by having a smaller stage so you can use those hitboxes and gyro to great advantage by controlling that amount of space. But on ledge play here, and Dill just, just tries to challenge by going for Nair early, then the rising laser almost closing out the stock, but the yep. arm rotor will do it, pulling back to make sure to cover Jen's hard drift in. Very, very well played by Dill after a rough start. 
able to or just hold it down and use the stage pick for the, those exact reasons. Covering a lot of space with Gyro and able to get extensions off of these platforms, whether it be off of a throw or not. But that'll do it for the stock from Jen. Able to get a, a pretty slick anti -air, uh, air to air by rising with that up air. Yeah, like I was going to say earlier, when uh, when Rob was, well, Rob, we're still trying to recover from the stage. She was able to completely maneuver around Jen by just going on these platforms that she set up for herself. These platforms are Damn. an obstacle for Jen. And, and she's just able to just kind of like go right around them. And Jen has to struggle with keeping up uh, with these platforms that are just in his way. Uh, and Dill trying to stay in the way of Palutena here. Jen forced to go to that top platform to recover and just to reset neutral. Oh, but the challenge, not even trying to pepper away with auto radical, just like, hey, I'm coming at you. What are you what are your answers? Like, and how many answers do you have before I exhaust all of those resources, all of those nice. mental resources? And so the laser gets reflected as well. There's those auto radicals, there's those zoning tools that you can pepper in and just get people antsy and but Dill, experienced as always, not gonna risk a punish though. Yeah, Gyro in hand, reflected back in favor of Jen. And Dill having to kind of uh, mix up the recovery options a little bit, neutral get up instead in order to avoid any kind of uh, pro attempt from Jen. However, Jen taking it right back by taking Dill off to, off to the stage uh, in the air. And a little bit of a battle up here, not getting anything up and up there, but at least Jen getting a up smash uh, for his troubles. Wow, the runoff, the runoff plat for a landing there up tilt. Looking for drag down upper as well. Jen trying to get get crispy with some of the follow-ups now that you have a little bit of rage, but you gotta always respect these lasers. Gyro. Oh, running past Gyro. I like that means of a bait from Dill, but not finding it as Jen just is continuing to play this this poke back and forth. Let's see how let's see if you can keep up as the overshoot Nair forces D uh, Dill back off stage. She gets to ledge. No grab. No grab. Interesting choice as well. <laughs> oh no, the up air was so well placed from Dill, but just mispositioned vertically, not horizontally, and that's such a shame. That's the grab whiffs from the spot dodge, going for the teleport cancel. Fair, are they gonna go off stage? Jen choosing to faint it up until that neutral air, oh, but they really trying to try get greedy, really trying to get greedy to off stage kill. Could have been a little bit more safer with, you know, your bread and butter guys, Paulu, with those really good combos that you know as Paulu as well. So, oh, this is not it. end of the world. It's still a fresh new stock for Jen, too. It's still at 114% off on the ledge where uh, Jen is very comfortable. And hopefully, as long as Jen does not get caught by a uh, a four there, um, drag into the, the blast zone of the side beat, you should be pretty, uh, pretty safe in this uh, situation. Yeah, going to be safe with some of these down tilts here. Gets the down tilt into up air. A very, very late hit. Not going to close out the stock, though, as Dill challenges Jen as they go up high. 135 here. It's plenty of kill potential. Got to watch out for those counters, though. I know reflecting laser feels nice, but don't want to leave yourself too open. That was such a late nair to fast fall. Rising <laughs> neutral there into like a super late drag down. Holy. We're about to see it right now. Here it is, the drag down question. Super late nair. Wait a little bit before going in with the up smash, knowing that uh, Dill is not doing anything in that situation. But like it was going to go for some kind of down tilt that way anyway, uh, or for F to actually, if we're going to auto rotate that way. So, and Jen was just like, yep. oh, this, this, little, this little itty bitty amount of space I have between your moves as you drop down and you turn to try to do a, a tilt attack, a smash.